Today I'm doing a flush on my Toyota Sienna engine. Pretty easy with a garden hose and I start with draining the coolant from the radiator. So to find the drain plug for your radiator on the Sienna, you go underneath. This is the radiator right here. And then you'll see just to the right, this is now under the passenger side. This is where the petcock valve is. Let me just zoom in for you. This is where the coolant will come out. So make sure you've got a drain pan underneath there. You open this uh, petcock valve over here. The coolant will come out at the bottom and go straight into your drain pan. So just open this with your fingers. If it's hard to open, you can use a small pliers. You have to be careful because this is only a plastic handle and when you turn this it's easy to break so just be gentle just crack it open and then use your your fingers for for the rest just open that up a few turns and there's your coolant flowing right out if you want your coolant to flow faster you just open the radiator cap up top and some of the air pressure will go down and uh, make sure that your coolant is going to drain quicker than otherwise to close it up again only use your hand never use pliers now that i've drained my coolant i'm going to put in some of this Prestone flush and cleaner and uh, leave that in to go for about two or three days as i'm driving uh, to get everything nice and uh, loose and ready to come out before I do another flush. I just use tap water for filling it up. And then after, once I've done the flush, when I refill it, I will use uh, deionized water. Now I'm going to drive it around so that the Preston can do its work. And then I'll remove the thermostat and drain the coolant again before I do the further flush. I will put a link in the description below on removing the thermostat. Now I'm going to protect my engine from water that will be splashing around. First up, I'll put a black bag across the alternator. Just tape that to the sides, then a, black, a, a clear plastic bag or anything like that across from the spark plugs. And then down there, you see the other electrical connector. I put some um, tape over that, just some duct tape would work. And then uh, just below that, there's another connector there that I've undone. And I put a just a bottle cap or a plastic cap over that. Now I remove the um, the hoses from the engine and on the other side here also from the radiator. Now you flush your engine by placing your garden hose on the one end, opening it up and let it flow right through. You'll see the water coming out on the other side and uh, you can flush till you see some clear water coming through and uh, you know that uh, it's flowing freely right through the engine. This will be better because your thermostat is removed. So just watch the flow coming out there. Now we're going to reverse the process. We're going to flush it the other way. So we take our hose, we put it on the other end and the water is going to flow through the engine and it's going to come out on the uh, hose that we used first. And uh, same thing, uh, watch until clear water comes out and you see it's flowing freely without any problems. The next thing you want to do is now to flush your radiator. Stick your hose in the top of the radiator and the water is going to flush right through and you'll see it come out there uh, from the bottom hose. Same thing once again, just see, see it ni flowing nicely and freely and clearly. Then you want to do the same thing again with the radiator. You want to reverse flush again. And so you put your hose into 
the bottom hose of the radiator and um, let the water run straight through and it'll come out the top. Now your system has been flushed backwards and forwards and uh, it should be pretty clear and pretty clean and ready to go. Put your hoses back on, replace your thermostat, refill with 50% coolant and 50% deionized water. Make sure all your electrical connectors are back in the proper place and then go for a test drive.